Hey guys, how's it going? This is Red Knight One here at your service, and welcome back to Kingdom Hearts Final Mix. And this time, though, we will be tackling over on Wonderland on what things you need to get. Now, this is actually another of the post commentary, though, because of one thing only. This, this one, I have to say, is the most annoyingest mission of them all. Because of one thing, though. Yeah, apparently it does look pretty easy just to take out the Heartlesses, but trust me. When you see how big they are, this, this is, it's scary. It's fairly scary if you're a little OP. But the only reason why is because of one thing, though. Another requirement for this one, though, is that you need to get this item twice. And what I'm referring to is the Fury Stones. To get the Fury Stone, yes, you have to get it in this area because they are actually holding the Fury Stones, but it's not the little guys you have to worry about, it's the big guys you have to worry about, though. And also, certainly there are some items. Actually, look, look, here they are, here they are. These guys are a pain. You have to defeat them at a certain point. Now, the first time I actually played this, though, I thought it's more like make sure you take them all down before they get you. Or, no, it's more like, be the fastest to take them all down before they all got away. Or, like, they all escaped. But, however, from this one, though, they don't actually just get away, though, when they attack you. Because after a certain point, though, they hit you, they escape. And you kind of fail to actually get the item. So your only best bet is to actually reset, though, hoping to come back over and over and over. Also, sorry, I gotta level up. Yes, I'm going to actually put up some stat tracks on this one, so that way you guys can catch up. Oh yes, this area though, this area did actually, um... If you manage to come back and beat the certain Heartlesses here, you can get the Mega Elixir, which is pretty helpful. This is actually done only in World after you beat Hall of Ashen. And there's more plenty to go around. The, um... There was another reason why? Because of one thing. Oh, yes. From here though... This one, I thought for certain, though, that I could actually cheat the system just by playing as dumb, by having Dumble out in order to actually take out the Heartlesses because you're invincible. Your hitbox is gone. And the moment on you actually take those Giga, Heartless, Heart, Giga Shadows out, you can easily get the job done. But once again, I don't know how this one kind of works. It has to be, I don't know if it's, you gotta be quicker before they hit you, or you have to make sure, though, that you take them all down before it's too late. There are some points, though, to where they'll actually disappear, but, however, in a worse occasions like this, though, um, uh, sometimes they will actually hold still and attack you but sometimes though it's better though if you're a little leveled up a little more but it's kind of best to take one out at a time because I don't remember though that if you have to take only six out and then you get your prize or not because these guys are a pain the Giga Shadows though they're like they're like really hard to take down though because even if they do have higher health though yeah I'm actually kind of running away but I'm trying to find a perfect timing on this because even though I'm actually trying to run away from them, and look, see, apparently the game finds out though I'm actually I actually cheated just by using the Dumbo, but I don't know if it counts though as a perfect kill, though or not. And of course I got myself dead. It kind of depends on how many Giga Heartlesses, heart, sorry, Giga Shadows you have to take down, and you have to do this, and you need two Fury Stones in order to complete another alchemy. Because if you don't get the Fury Stones you needed, you're going to have a bad time of actually completing the Alchemy set. <clears throat> Your only best bet is a couple things. Running around in circles can be one thing, though, because the closer they are to you, the bigger chances you can actually hit them. And if you manage to actually keep your distance and make sure they don't hit you and not your teammates, because they don't mind attacking them. They don't mind attacking Donald and Goofy. They just have to make sure, though, they don't that you do not get attacked. If you have enough chance to actually take down certain Giga Heart, Giga Shadows, because I don't know how many times you have to do this, though so you will actually get the Fury Stone, and you gotta do this twice. The other one I'm gonna explain, 
Later on is how to get the Blaze Gem. And this took me a while to figure this out, though. But eventually, this might be a good chance later on, though. As we, um... As we continue circling around, and of course, yeah, there it is. That one's actually finally taken down. You can also stun them by just finishing off a three-hit combo, and they'll be launched into the air, which is a pretty good chance to opportunity to try and take them down. So that way, you can save yourself a lot of trouble of getting the Giga Heartless, Giga Shadow. Why am I calling it the Giga Heartless? Giga Shadow to actually get the Fury Stone. Now. I wish, though, they become normal giant heartlesses because I, even though I do have the arrow, this is this might be a pretty good opportunity to go for some level grinding on this because the the XP and the tech points they're they're actually not too bad. I they're actually pretty good. But once I actually manage to actually send them flying, I have to finish the job because if I don't, though, they're gonna actually get up and they'll actually hit me. And there. And there it is, the Fury Stone. You gotta do this twice. I was able to actually pull it off with a few success. This area does have another level ups. Occasionally, oh yeah. Um, I, I don't know where that hole's gonna lead, eh, unless it's the queen. But, however, the next item you wanna get from this one is another Trinity. You wanna actually go through that, go to that room, and you want to actually go through that painting. Once you do, you hit this little mark right here, get the trinity and you get an item yeah it's uh, not too bad but this is the lady luck keyblade and apparently it's a bit weaker than the oath keeper yes it gives you more magic points and it does grand physical damage but it's too weak i'd rather keep the oath i'd rather just take the oath keeper at least it just balances out a little more now, I don't know what those things are, but however, I'm going to have to look at them later. It's just, occasionally though, whenever you're starting to go item hunting or treasure hunting though, it's sort of annoying, but sometimes it's sometimes good. Now, here we go. Now, there's one way how to actually get the fire gem. You see these little guys right here though? You want to make sure though they have the animation to where they're actually freezing. But it's tricky. To do this correctly, they have to do the same animation three times. And to get the blaze gem, you have to make sure those little white mushrooms are freezing. Like they're shivering. Use fire gun on them whenever they start freezing three times. You will not only get the blaze gem, but also you get an arts item. Which is pretty cool. I've already got the blizzard arts, the thunder arts, and I got the cure arts later on. But, however... I'll be advised with you though, for every time though, I always go up against the Giga Shadows though, it is the most annoyingest mission. Because every single time though, yeah, yeah, you're actually seeing it because even though they do a little bit of wall damage, especially when I'm actually level 55, I will have a lot of trouble of actually trying to get that item I wanted. And of course, yeah, I'm actually using Fire Gano because it's like the only safe spell I want to use. I can't use Thunder. And I wish to see what happens if I did put all the fire, all the, um, all the accessories with the um, magic effect could actually work out because this could actually help out even the fight. But I'm also concerned though that even though that I had to put all the accessories with magic focus only, I also don't want to forget though that I have one of the accessory items equipped with the ability point. And if I, if I try to actually, um. If I try to actually unequip it though, I need to also unequip one of the abilities. The thing though, I pack a lot of others though, because occasionally there is a good occasion to where I don't want to mess up. And I don't want to actually get hit, because if I actually do get hit though, this could actually mess up the momentum. I don't have to worry about running out of arrows in this one, because I have to actually try and focus on one thing though. Trying to take out a number of certain hardship Giga Shadows. So that way I'll be able to get the opportunity to actually get the, um, the Fury Stone. Yep, that's actually taking down one of them. And it does actually get pretty annoying. Because you don't want to actually mess up that momentum. You just want to make sure you have enough, so that way, if you have enough to kill the Giga Shadows, you can get the Fury Stone you want. I want to run out. 
However, there is a lot of more depth into this one. See ya. Fire. Now, Fire. it does take a while to actually get the blaze gem for the white mushrooms. But that does not mean, though, that you have to keep item searching. The, uh, the reason why it's um, long, though, is because, yeah, they actually have high health, though. But it's also because, though, that occasionally they're harder to actually take down. I mean, if I try swinging at them right away, the other three will actually come and get me. I want to take one at a time. It's, it's sort of like one of those samurai tactics to where... Oh, crap. One of those samurai tactics to where you want, um, you want them all to chase you. And whoever is the fastest coming up to you, you take that samurai down. And once you take him down, rinse and repeat. It's sort of like that tactic. Okay, that was two Giga Shadows down. And if it's actually like seven, then that actually means though they've made a success. So it requires seven Giga Shadows to be taken down. That's three. Though, if it's actually only like, I mean, if it is actually like take only seven Giga Shadows at a time kill, like how many times you have to defeat them, I'm not surprised, because apparently I don't want to actually go through all this trouble over and over and over, hoping to actually take certain Shadow Heartlesses down. Now, what you saw though was trying to make, trying to have a strategy to where I can go up above, but this tactic does not work. If I try going up above the table, they will actually likely run away. And that is a mission fail. Um, also, also later on, I'll nextly show off what the next one's going to be. At I do apologize if the clip is taking a while for it to be done, because this clip though it took the recording took about two hours and thirty or forty minutes. Oh my god! Yeah, as you see right there though, if I stay up above. They'll, and if I stay up here for too long, hopefully when they come up, they'll actually run away, so it doesn't count. And, yeah. Two hours and 40 minutes? That's almost... That's not going to be helpful for Roxiel to handle. So I got to be more careful. Okay, that's four. That's actually four Giga Turtles to taken down. So, apparently, I have to be more careful with my recordings, though. It's a very long recording, though. So, yeah, once again, though, even though though I'm doing a scavenger hunt mission, though, I'll, I'll actually... Yes, I will actually do a side quest mission, and yeah, you're probably gonna... Ah, crap. I, mean, I was hoping to actually get that opportunity. That was five. Also, Sora getting leveled up, which is pretty good for defense. That was five Giga Shadows taken down. I was hoping to use this tactic to where I could perform a counter move, so that way they become a little staggered, but it doesn't work. And occasionally, once the Trinity hunting, the Dalmatian hunting, and the, um... And the item quest missions are done, we can move on to the, um... The only side quest missions I only know. Which is, one's going to be in Agrabah, the other's going to be in Neverland, but... And the fourth one's going to be at, um... That's six. At, um... Uh, what is it? Oh, yeah. Right over at... At the Olympus Coliseum. And they're going to be a normal commentary. I'll probably get one more co-host to join me. But I want this to be a surprise. So far... I know the scavenger hunting is actually pretty good, but... Yeah, apparently you can see me fail a lot over and over and over. Yeah, it, it's frustrating. It, it's kind of frustrating. Okay, that seven once it's gone. That was the seventh one. That was an eighth one right there. So apparently, yeah, I gotta make sure I take them both down, and almost the recording's gonna be done soon. That's nine. Last one's gonna be ten if I can. Yep, actually, yep, got him. Yep, and that's it. So. Next time, we're going to do the next world. See you guys then.